Meet Emmanuel Foucault, an artist who has great patience and extreme dexterity because he is able to stack stones in a very precarious balance and in positions that seemingly defy the laws of gravity. Stone balancing is a discipline that consists of creating works of art with stones and nothing else. Emmanuel places stones of different sizes one above the other without using adhesive or any kind of support. This is done by playing on pressure points, gravity and counterweight to produce a stone sculpture of such aesthetic beauty and serenity. Now unlike a sculpture made of clay or marble, this sculpture cannot be moved or sold at an art exhibition. So you might be wondering, why do it at all? Well Emmanuel's original trade was an upholsterer and one day he was surfing the net looking at images and came across pictures of balanced stones. Initially he was skeptical and thought they were rigged in some way. He began to research and to learn more about this art form and three years later this upholsterer has now devoted himself full time to this beautiful art form. Now he doesn't just stack some stones in a stream somewhere and walks away. Once the sculpture is complete, he will take a photo of his finished art and now earns a living by selling the photos. He also gets paid for demonstrations of his art all around the world, such as Texas, Scotland, Wales, Spain and all over France. Now it may appear like a fairly simple art form, go to a location, pick up some stones and stack them on top of each other. But Emmanuel has spent thousands of hours sitting in water with maximum concentration to perfect his art. He says, you have to feel the stones to find the balance. Sometimes you have a precise idea of what you want to do, but sometimes you can't do it. You can spend several hours in a row trying, but everything depends on the stones. To make the stones balance, you need an unconditional love of nature. You are alone in the middle of the water, listening to the birds in the river. You do not think of anything else. Your concentration is extreme and it is very tiring in the long run. But it does not matter. You have to be very persevering to practice this art. And when you release the stones and they hold in place, the feeling is indescribable. But stacking stones is just part of the art. The other part comes from the photography, which takes time and practice to master. Such as the choice of location, lighting, playing with textures of water, the reflections, the mist. In short, playing with nature itself to get the perfect shot. It's a combination of art, science, patience and skill. I think it goes without saying that this art form is amazingly beautiful. But I can only imagine the confused thoughts people must have when they come across these sculptures that he's left behind. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.